Interconnected Fitness in Lurgan. Uh, thank you so much for joining us and for everyone who has subscribed so far. If you've been enjoying the classes, do hit that subscribe button underneath the video and join us on our journey together. This week is all about glutes. Now we are going to need a little bit of equipment. You can buy these on Amazon or eBay. They're just a set of resistance bands. They only cost a few pounds. You can get them in a variety of colours and the resistance is different on each one. They'll really help this week as we get stuck into the following exercises. Okay guys, so as every week, it's going to be eight exercises. We've got 40 seconds of work, followed by a 15 second rest in between each one. You will need your little resistance band for exercises two through eight. So the first one's the first one, just a little warm up. It's going to be alternating lunges. So what we're going to do, I'm going to show you from the side. I'm going to take a big step back, hand rope is on, and you're going to join in as soon as you can. And we're going right and then left. So it's right foot comes back, and then we're just going to swap over, left foot doing them both at once. Just as a little warm up, get those uh, <coughs> glutes engaged. All of these exercises are both designed to work uh, the glutes. But of course, the rest of your legs, your calves, and the hamstrings, and the quads at the front will do a little bit of work as well. 10 seconds to go. Make sure you're coming down as low as you can. No touch on the ground, so the knee doesn't make contact. And as you come up, just drive it right up to that full extension, and back down. All right, so that's your little warm-up move. We're gonna get the resistance band fitted now for the rest. So what I want you to do is to take it and put it around the ankles. We're gonna bring it just to about right here, and have it. Here for the beginning of our next one. So first of all, we're going to do a side kick. So we're going to keep the hands on the hips and that foot's going to drive out to the side. Bringing it down, we quick touch on the floor and then bring it up. So nice and slow and controlled. We're trying to push our range of motion just as far out as we can on each move. Now, I'm going to talk you through a couple of modifiers as you get good at this. First modifier is that as the leg comes back down, that we make no connection with the ground and then drive back up to the side, okay? So as that foot comes down, I'm gonna drive it out, and come down, and then drive out to the side. Second modifier is where you, when you come out, just with a little hold, and then bring it back down, and then out, and then down. All right, that's your first one on that side. Next one we're gonna do is just to swap over onto the other side. So this foot's gonna plant on the floor, and we're gonna bring it out to the side over here. Three, two, one, and away we go. So the easier move is to come out, and then as you come back down, just let your foot relax on the ground. All right? Now you can try this without a resistance band as well, uh, or if you've been doing this for a few weeks, you might wanna change color in your resistance band, coming up through the various ones, uh, I think they go up to red and black and they get thicker and thicker, making the exercises more and more difficult. As we get just over the halfway, I'll show you that little modifier again. So the foot comes down, no touch on the floor as you come down and you're just driving back up again. And then if you want to make it harder again, drive up, just try to hold for a second and then bring the foot down. Three, two, one, and that's exercise number three complete. Now, our fourth exercise is the same move but what we're doing is we're going to bring the foot forwards, okay? So one foot plants on the ground, and then the foot plants comes up and out, all right? I'll show you that from the side to begin with as our timer starts. Right foot comes out, and then it comes back down, out, and back down. So, this is our more straightforward version. We're trying to keep that leg straight, point the toe, and drive that leg just up as high as you can bring it. Making sure there's plenty of resistance in your band. If you find it too easy, of course, we can make it a little bit more difficult by minimizing the touch on the floor. Foot comes out. And for the last 10 seconds, if you want to just bring it up, and you can hold, bring it down, and then bring it up to drive, and then bring it down. Three, two, one, well done. We're going to do that same exercise again, but just on the other foot. So we plant down, think on left foot down, and then it's right foot coming up side okay it doesn't matter what order you're doing them in it's just one and then the other now same difference as the time goes on you join in right foot comes up when we step down you'll see on this version i'm letting the foot touch the floor and as we get to the halfway point i'm going to swap and stop doing a little touch so foot comes up 
It's just that point of the toe as I come forward. We're trying to minimize the amount of time that foot is in contact with the floor. 15 seconds to go, and now I'll do it in the pulses of five or 10. So we come up, two, three, four, five, and drop, up, two, three, four, five. And three, two, and one. Good job, okay. So exercise six, again, very simple, very straightforward as our first introduction to glutes exercises. This time, we're gonna bring the foot back, okay? So we come down, and that foot's coming out of the back. You can bring your hands out to balance if you need. Three, two, one. One foot once on the floor, and we come up. So what we wanna do is feel the activation right up the top of the glute, and we'll be able to feel that squeeze coming backwards. All right, nothing else moves. Try to make it as slow and deliberate as you can. You're trying to minimize it looking like a kick, okay? So it's not a donkey kick. Trying to keep that leg straight, and the big straight squeeze up at the back. Now, same idea as before. If you can stop, minimize the, the touch on the floor, and that foot comes down, stay straight, and then we drive up again, down, and drive up again. Nice straight leg, and feel that glute the whole time. Five, four, three, two, one. And you probably guessed what's coming next. We're going to do the exact same exercise, except this time it's just going to be on the other side. So this time the right foot's coming back, left foot stays partly to the floor. And I will talk them through the various modifiers as we go. Three, two, one. Here we go on exercise number seven. Only one to go after this. Now, as you are working, what we're going to try and do is, if this is your first set through, is to try and do it all with the touch on the floor in each move. If you're on your second lap through each of these, what we want you to do is to try and do it without the touch on the floor. So each of the modifiers adding on that level of difficulty as you progress. And then, when you're on your last lap, or your third lap, we're trying to do a little squeeze at the top. And if you want to go even one tougher again, you can do it with just the pulse. So the foot comes out, and then we just pulse, 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 pulse. Three, two, one. We're gonna put in one little burner to finish. This is gonna be our last exercise for this set. And then you can go back on the video and have another go. This one's called lateral band walk, okay? So the hands come up onto the, onto the waist. And what we're gonna do is take one big step to the side and touch, big step and touch. So you're just going across in those big steps, working the outside of the legs and just making it as deep a trot as you can. Then you stay straight as you point up and out. And it's just a great little burn. Now to make this one a little bit more difficult, what we can do is we can stop the touch on the ground. So see as my foot comes in there, it's coming in and out all in one move, no touch, okay? So not touch and touch, just bring it in and squeeze, and squeeze, and squeeze, and squeeze. So we really try to travel across the floor. Three, two, and one. Good job.